Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you the different types of steering uh, on large vessels, ships, and work vessels of uh, any type really. And you may be expecting a wheel, however, that's not here. Most vessels nowadays use jog levers. So, as you see, can see here, we have three levers. We have two non-follow-up levers and one full follow-up lever. And we have two rudders. Now, this vessel is equipped with dynamic positioning, so these rudders work independently of each other. We can use that for different types of handling. One side is port, one side is starboard, and they're both on each outboard engine out of our four engines, uh, but there's two rudders. So with non-follow-up steering, it's essentially just a toggle switch. If you move this rudder, this rudder handle here, sorry, I have to put it in non-follow-up mode. If you move this rudder handle, only one rudder will react. And if you let off of that handle, it will stay there. If you want to put it back to center, you have to go back and you can leave it in the centered position. The same goes for this other rudder. So for instance, we want, to, want the capability of walking the boat uh, laterally to either side. We can have the rudders flared so that we can do that without making rudder adjustments. Now, obviously when we're steering, we want both rudders to be synchronized. And that's where full follow-up comes into advantage. And full follow-up, before I engage it and move the rudders, I'll show you. Now, Cobalt works a little bit differently than many brands. In many cases, if you move the lever to port, the vessel will go to port. But in the case of Cobalt, you can actually see that that is actually moving the vessel to starboard. But we are currently in non-follow-up mode. These exterior levers are in control. In fact, one rudder is moved 10 degrees further than the other. So, and they're also in opposite directions. So now we're gonna to swap to full follow-up mode. Now I'm gonna show you what happens with full follow-up. Engaged, both of the rudders are gonna to come to the position of this lever. So now they are synchronized and operate off of one lever. As you can see, they're moving together in unison and we'll go starboard. So full follow-up is like for your daily practical use. Non-follow-up is for emergencies or kind of strange handling conditions or whenever the vessel is engaged in dynamic positioning. But that's the difference between full follow-up and non-follow-up. Any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks.